Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's Jenergy, that's me the hijabi from TNT, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious shrimp bisque. Now a bisque is of French origin and it's actually a rich creamy soup that's full of flavor. It's usually made with shrimp or lobster or crab, any sort of seafood, but today I'm going to be using shrimp. So just to go through the ingredients with you guys for this recipe, I'm going to be using some shrimp, some paprika, some all-purpose seasoning, cumin or roasted jeera, some sour cream, chopped onion, garlic, peppers, thai, fresh parsley. I'm going to be using some flour, cooking cream, and usually you'd use broth, but I don't have any, so I'm going to be using some water. So to start things off, I have my oil that's heating in the pan. Once, it's, once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to be adding in my onions, my garlic, and my hot peppers. I'm going to be keeping the heat on low and I'm going to cook this until the onions and the garlic are nice and tender. You don't want anything burning so keep the heat on low and keep stirring it. Once it's all nicely cooked, I'm going to be adding the cooking cream. Now this cooking cream you can find in the chiller section of the supermarkets near the cheese and the other milks. It's not hard to get your hands on and it's pretty handy you, will, you know, to keep in your fridge to make whenever you want to make some nice creamy based dishes. So now I'm going to be adding the water, but like I said, if you have broth or stock, you should add it instead of the water for more flavor. I'm going to be adding my paprika to this as well, and also some cumin or roasted jeera. And not forgetting the MSG for your poopers, which already has salt, so you don't need to add any extra salt to this dish. I'm going to give it a quick stir, make sure everything is nicely incorporated. I added the flour as well. And the flour is going to help to thicken up the bisque. I'm adding in with the sour cream. You want to make sure that your heat is staying between low to medium on this. And keep stirring it from time to time because you don't want it to be sticking. It can stick and can burn pretty quickly and pretty easily. I'm adding some cayenne pepper. I forgot to mention that before. But if you want some extra heat, like you know I like my dishes spicy. You can add the cayenne pepper or ground chilies. Then I'm going to be adding my shrimp uh, pieces. I actually cut the shrimp, they were fairly large size and I just cut them into smaller pieces. I didn't add any seasoning to it because the bisque already is packed with flavor and the shrimp is so small it's going to absorb everything pretty nicely. So at this point I'm going to raise my heat to medium and I'm going to let it cook for about 5 minutes, 6, 7 minutes. Uh, you want it to thicken up, now that's the, a, a nice bisque, a slightly uh, thick soup and after about seven minutes i had this up for this is what it looks like so you see how nicely it's thickened up there you have the nice color from the paprika and the uh, cayenne pepper if you use the ground chilies and now to this i'm going to be adding in my freshly chopped side and my uh, parsley you can use as much as you like and this is going to add some great rich flavors to your shrimp bisque and you can actually mix it if you have shrimp, you have the lobster, you have crab, you can make a delicious seafood bisque. And in less than 20 minutes, you've got yourself a packed with flavor sort of meal. And this is perfect for those rainy days, rainy evenings, and it's actually absolutely delicious. So this was a pretty short video guys but I hope that you did enjoy it and I hope that you give it a try out this I'm telling you you would absolutely love this this was perfect so be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to share with all your friends and your family make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and also the bell notification button so you don't miss out any of my videos to come and if you do try this be sure to send me pictures of it so that I can post it and give you guys a shout out because I absolutely love when you guys try my recipes. So thanks so much for watching again and I will see you guys in the next video.